we do know that this is the worst day in the history of UNC Charlotte. I can't tell you the sadness of the entire community to know that a situation like this has occurred on our campus. Four on a North Carolina college campus, at least two killed and several injured on the last day of classes at UNC Charlotte. Since first reporting that breaking news at 6 tonight, we know one person is in custody and campus remains on lockdown, but that scene is secure. We know one of those injured is from our area. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Marius Payton. Within the past half hour, we also heard from the Chancellor as well as Governor Cooper. Uh, we are a very tight-knit community. Universities are that way. And this really just shakes us to our very core. We mourn the loss of life. We pray for those who are being treated at the hospital. This situation, of course, developing throughout the evening. Maggie Newland in the Breaking News Center right now with more on the investigation and what's happening tonight. Maggie. Angela Marius, every update tonight has come from the school's Twitter feed. Ten minutes ago, you see this. Remaining occupants of UNC Charlotte campus buildings may depart at this time. Now take a look. This you see right here is the tweet that rocked campus this afternoon. It reads, shots reported near Kennedy. Run, hide, fight. It was sent just before 5 o'clock, and in the hours after that, both campus police and Charlotte Mecklenburg police combed through campus. This is what it looked like, students walking around, their hands in the air. As we mentioned, it is the last day of classes there. There was also a concert scheduled. All of that is now on hold or canceled. Police say the suspect, who's now in custody, went into a building and started shooting. Our officers are highly trained, and we train for this type of an incident, and we we're able to get to the building, and our officers immediately, one officer immediately went to the suspect to take him down. Now, this is video of the suspect being taken into custody soon after. Police have not yet officially identified him.